In this video, we will first look at the soil dilution plates that have now been incubated for six days. We will then pick some individual colonies and streak them to single colony on soya flower mannitol plates. In the following sequence, we can see colonies appearing from our dilutions of soil sample D over six days of incubation. By day two, the fastest growing colonies have appeared. Over the next three days, new colonies appear and existing colonies get larger, especially on the plates without maledixic acid. As expected, there are fewer colonies on the more dilute soil samples. Note how some colonies are secreting a brown substance into the media. Close examination of the plates after six days reveals the presence of small colonies with the appearance of streptomyces. Here we focus in on the undiluted sample D grown with naledixic acid over six days. After six days, we select nine Streptomyces colonies for further characterization. For your lab report, you can concentrate on just four of these, colonies A, B, C, and D. Soil isolate A came from sample H diluted 10 to the minus 1. Soil isolate B also came from sample H diluted at 10 to the minus 1. Soil isolate C came from the sample D plated undiluted. And soil isolate D also came from the same plate. All soil isolates were chosen from plates containing naledixic acid. All of the chosen colonies had the hard, powdery appearance of streptomyces. We will pick the chosen colonies from the Gauss number 2 plates and streak them to single colony on soya flower mannitol plates. Notice how the soya flower makes the soya flower mannitol plates cloudy compared to the original Gauss number 2 media. Watch as I pick single colony A and streak on soya flower mannitol plates using three fresh, sterile, plastic loops. Most species of Streptomyces grow and sporulate well on soya flower mannitol plates. The other chosen Streptomyces soil colonies are streaked to single colony in a similar way. For the final colony I, I have run out of plastic loops and so I'm using sterile toothpicks to streak out to single colony on soya flower mannitol. The technique is much the same. Once streaked, all of these plates were incubated at 30 degrees for six days.